Hello everybody. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use OpenSSH to connect from your Mac to your Windows PC and also how to transfer files between them, meaning copying from the MacBook to the Windows PC and the other way around. So let's get right into it. So first of all, on your, on your Windows PC, you're going to hop into settings here. You're going to go to apps, click optional features, and then scroll down until you see OpenSSH server. It should be below the OpenSSH client. If you do not see this here, that means it's not installed. So to install this, I'm going to go to add a feature and type in OpenSSH like that, and you should see it pop up here. Go ahead and click install. After that's done, I'm going to slide out of here and go into services. You're going to scroll down until you see the OpenSSH server, and the status currently is not running. So to turn this on, you're going to right click, hit start, if you want this to boot, or if you want this to run on boot, simply go to properties, startup type, and put that to automatic instead of manual. Go ahead and press apply, and then okay. So after this, we're gonna hop over to the Mac here. And pretty much, uh, to SSH from your MacBook to your Windows, it's a very simple command. You just do SSH, and then the username of uh, your Windows PC. In my case, it's uh, one letter short of Elliot, and you're going to do the at symbol and then just the IPv4 address of your Windows PC. Perfect. So now you've pasted this in right here, just like that. And then uh, that's it. So you just press enter. You're going to type in your password. If you don't know what your password is uh, for OpenSSH or for your uh, services, then probably ask ChatGPT. I'm not entirely sure how to find that, but uh, I'm sure it will not be uh, too long. So after you type in your password, go ahead and press enter. Oh, wrong password. There we go. <clears throat> so now you can see I'm in the Windows PC now. You can see the desktop uh, name. So perfect. Now to exit out of this, you just, just do exit and then uh, press enter. So in order to transfer files, uh, we're going to be using uh, a certain command. So let's go ahead and find some files to transfer here. So if we're going to transfer from the Windows folder to Mac folder, we're going to do this right here. So I'm going to go to an, into my uh, maybe my clips, find some Diablo 4 clips, and then maybe uh, I want to take this nice screenshot of my Sorcerer build. So I'm just going to rename this here, rename it uh, Source Screenshot. Okay. Sweet. So now we know uh, the directory of this. It's D drive uh, slash clip slash Diablo 4 slash source screenshot. So perfect. Now in order to transfer from one to the other, we're going to look at what current directory we're in on the Mac right now. And this is very important. <coughs> so pop over to the finder here. This is the directory that we're in right now. We're in this directory. So let's say we want to drop it into... Maybe we want to drop it into movies, okay? We want to drop it into movies and Diablo 4 clips. I'll just go ahead and delete this really quick. Move to trash. Let's go ahead and pop in there. And then we can actually get the info of this. So it's going to be in the, uh, just the movies. So this is how this command is going to look. So you're going to go uh, SCP like that and dash R and then the command like before. Wrong way. And then you're gonna do a colon, and then we're gonna follow through with the directory on the Windows PC, which is gonna be uh, the D drive slash clips slash Diablo 4. And it's really important that you have these quotation marks here because if you have spaces like I do, in this folder, then it might try to read that as something else. So it's just important to be uh, explicit and just put the quotation marks around each of these uh, folder directories. So we're going to do another slash here and actually put the source uh, screen, if I can spell, screenshot, just like that. And then after this, we're going to do a little space, and we're just going to go into the uh, movies folder, just like that. So I need to type in my password, and we can see, oh, no such file or directory. Let's figure this out. 
So what's actually going on here is I forgot to add the little PNG extension. So this file uh, has a uh, PNG extension and we just forgot to add that. So let me go ahead and just uh, move back through this dot PNG. We do our password and done, just like that. So now we should see it in our movies folder. Just like that, source screenshot.png, just like we saw it before. Awesome. So uh, that's how you transfer from Windows to a Mac folder. And now we're going to do it the other way around. So to do it the other way around, let's say I just want to put it in my uh, downloads folder. Okay. If I just want to put it in my downloads folder, the directory is going to be, uh, let's see, I'm going to go to C, uh, users and then downloads, just like that. So this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, see users, Elliot downloads, perfect. So in order to do that, um, we're gonna do the following command. Uh, and then we're gonna do the uh, current directory that uh, we wanna transfer from. So uh, movies and then source, screenshot.png and then after this we're going to do this uh, little ssh thing with the ip address and we're going to add our colon in and then we're going to do the directory to the windows pc which in our case is going to be the uh, c drive users elliot and then just close that off. And we can do our password. Perfect. And I will see that it pops up here. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, one thing you should watch out for is uh, when you're using these paths in especially the MacBook, uh, you have to watch out on the MacBook because if you try to do from all the way from the users, like the very top directory from your uh, local drive, uh, you may encounter errors from that. So. Uh, what I found the best to be error free is just to look at whatever directory you're in right now. Like say I, I wanted to go into like movies. Uh, you want to make sure that everything is uh, all the paths specified for your Mac will be after the movies folder. So for example, if I do uh, LS here, you'll see Diablo 4 is one of them. So if I wanted to, you know, move it to Diablo 4, I would just I would just do this like that, right? So I wouldn't even need to do anything from uh, absolute paths. We're just doing relative paths. So anyways, I hope that video helped you out. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. It's completely free. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.